of Awards, the latest film to come from Alex Garland, but this time we aren't picking sides between Iron Man and Captain America. Welcome to Cinema, where we focus on a film. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema. Today we're talking about Civil War. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen it, what you think of it, if you're on a better side, or if you, it just didn't personally connect with you. And let me you know, have this nice discussion down in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're ever ready to join in this film discussion where we talk about movies each and every day. And going right into the synopsis, in the near future, these war journalists are going across the country as they try and survive to different threats they go across the world and are trying to reveal the truth as they face the Civil War. And getting right into the positives, this film is explosive with some of its action, with its storytelling, and I just really enjoyed the vibe you get out of it. I am a big fan of all three of Alex Garland's directorial efforts that he has done in the past. Annihilation, Men, and Ex Machina. What he has to do with the camera is really good by the framing or the film motions, always knowing the right scale to focus in on particular characters. And this film stands out among the other war films because it is not always focused directly on the war and that doesn't separate it in a negative way from the genre as a whole because it still is getting you into the face of the action, getting you into the exploratory sides to what they're going after, what the sides of America is. Now that it is split into two separate states, you're getting the action that really pulls you in, really creates this scenery and really takes you into different settings across the eastern border that you're traveling across as they're going to Washington and what you're getting with the war journalists are really in compelling in their own character motives. You get this really expert photographer as well as this amateur photographer that's just really wanting to get after what her hero is doing and going under the umbrella of that creates a good chemistry between them. Kirsten Dunst as a professional and Kaylee Spaney is really good as well in her young role, what they're doing as well. And a couple other ones really do add a nice focus to there as they centralize as these characters are the good ones. And well, when you're getting into other war type of films, sometimes you get your main focus lost on using central characters amongst a broad war to really lose the focus between whether you're wanting to focus on the whole world as a whole and sympathize with that, or if you're wanting to sympathize with these main characters and they have a good balance with what Alec Garland brings for the writing and it's really good because it mostly is small scale focus and a direct look at these photographers, how they're progressing and the dangers that are ensuing around them and within them based on their upbringing and how they're going about their getting to know the characters along the way in a sympathetic way that really works wonders to how the writing actually performs with the camera motions and how you're understanding the character derivatives from that and also still getting a broad enough scale of how big the stakes are in the United States at this time as they're divided and still getting all of these different settings what different environments different cities are sitting at as you're getting different views different opinions this one town that's not necessarily as involved but it's still affected by what is going in the states and so you're just getting all of the different things that almost has a nihilist perspective based on what portrayals they have in this where not everything is the best and it's showing certain aspects of the human nature where we're not always colliding with each other in the best way we're not working each other and that's where you're getting these views where we're fighting each other just to fight each other because 
the other person is shooting at us and they're not necessarily always having a centralized motive that makes sense to an understanding of trying to get revenge or whatnot and so just the way to go about that explores a certain notion that I really enjoy and I have an, an idea for a book that I've been working on in, in the future that goes along the same lines a lot so I just really enjoy seeing this played out on screen having these different side characters that aren't necessarily as explored but have a part that you really have an effect on the main characters you're focusing on which is a really good centralized idea for what this story has to offer it is not what I expected for this story but I went into this story not knowing what to expect because of Alex Garland how he plays off his work and also being played under the A24 studio, how they normally do their good story telling, but also these weird vibes that really it accentuates itself within this film that it is a vibe at times, but it still has its good meat to the storytelling, having different characteristics to how you're exploring these characters, having these different divisions, having a good political standpoint to this film because it is a war film that's taking place in the United States that's dividing the states in half while not necessarily enforcing these broad statements, not over explaining itself in any sort of way that makes you feel dumb by the way it's expressing and you don't get lost in what it's expressing either by the general focus on what it is speaking when once it is getting into the sides of the United States, obviously younger children won't get this, but it's also for an older audience where there is a bit of blood here and there. It might be on a scale of a four or five out of 10 on what you're getting for how much gory it is. It isn't way too much in your face. It isn't gross and intrusive, but it does get the point across where it has enough of what it needs to, to be something that has enough of the drama and a, a large scale of what you're getting for a true war while also not being really too much for the general audience to really savor this film for. And so just generally what you get out of this film has a lot of different variety, has a lot of different aspects to what you're getting out of the characters centralized but also the broad scale, the target focus, where this t film is going, that feels like it has a lot of different subplots, but it builds up all of the different things while also going across the film with a direct focus that's going to go into at the end of the day that goes into different aspects that not necessarily plot twists but still having things that you're really diving into in uncharted territory with this film and going into some of the mixed albums this is a film focused on the photojournalist so it isn't necessarily the direct focus on the war as a whole and so if you're thinking of exploring soldiers this isn't the war film for you as a whole and you should be going into it expecting these big battles at certain times but of course the characters the ones you're sympathizing with are the war journalists that still go into the heavy heat of the battle and so you're still getting that high action that you may be wanting but it isn't necessarily what it may be advertised as or what you expect for a civil war type of film that is it, still fictional it's still taking place in the future so it has an, a sci-fi aspect to it in general but it's photojournalist focus may take some people out of the running if you're not expecting that to begin with which is why I want to set you up to be prepared for what you're getting into and just some aspects to how the story flows. It may not have its high pacing throughout but it still has enough of the substance that really wins me over that can throw some people off and not necessarily be a win for everyone because A24 
as a studio doesn't always put out films that are for the general audience, but it is something that is taken to be worthwhile at least to give a shot, even if you're not necessarily always into their films as a whole. And so that's just my personal review for Civil War and I have to personally give it a 9 out of 10 where it was very worthwhile for what I was expecting. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe or have you already to join in this film discussion where we talk about films each and every day. Soon I'll be talking and ranking Alex Garland's films from my least favorite to my favorite so don't forget to miss that in the discussion in the comments below as we're going forward with films each and every day. So make sure to check out these videos on the end screen now. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.